Hey you guys, good morning. This is Tynetta from Sting Nail Co. Today is Saturday and I'm getting ready for my day. I have a pretty busy day today. I have four clients. My first client will be here in about 15 minutes. So I'm just going ahead and get everything set up. I got a sweep up. I got a new nail drill. I need to go ahead and open my, um, my old one went out on me the other day while I was working. So I had to order a little cheap one off Amazon real quick. But other than that, I'm gonna let you guys um, kind of hang out while I get everything ready. And yeah, that's it. Okay, y'all, so the people in my suite literally been having a trash war. Like, somebody keeps throwing trash on the floor next to the trash can. And I'm not even talking about, like, a bag of trash. Like, it was a, a rotten banana, okay? And so people is getting pissed. People getting hot. The owners is threatening to take the trash can out. Like, I'm just like, you know, you don't have trash can in your room. And then there's a dumpster right outside the back door by the trash can. So I really don't know who's doing it or why, but they gave us slip this whole list of rules up under my door and said we had to sign it and sit it up by the front. So I guess so everybody could be held accountable, but I'm gonna do that later cause I'm busy. Okay, so this is my first client. I went ahead and did a fill on her already. So now I'm getting into these designs. She's in a sorority and they have a convention coming up. So she wanted me to do a freestyle blue and yellow, which is the colors of her sorority. And she sent me some pictures of different inspo that she was liking. So she has some French tips, some crock print, and she said she wants some flames on her nails. So this is what I came up with. Um, I was going to do like a half French, but then I was kind of looking at it and I'm like, nah, I'll just go ahead and do the whole French. So I drew the other side and filled that in, went ahead and cured that. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding in the details on these designs. So for the French, I'm doing two lines on top of the smile line. The first one is a blue line right on top of the smile line. And then um, I did like a yellow line right above that. Now for this nail, I'm going to go ahead and add the flames in yellow. And then on her opposite middle finger, I did the flame in blue. So as you can see, I'm just drawing that and filling that in with my detail brush. So I cured everything. I added top coat and cured that as well. And now I'm going ahead and doing the crack print. So I'm just adding some small ovals and this little diagonal design. And once I get those done, I'm going to go ahead and apply some clear acrylic right on top while the product is still wet. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the blue finger. I'm going to make those little oval shapes all the way down the diagonal pattern. Then I'm going to pour some clear acrylic right on top of the gel polish while it's still wet. And then I'm going to cure both of those and then I'm done. So this is how those nails came out. Super cute and she is ready for her convention. And as you can see, she has her bracelet on to match. So get into it. I feel like these came out super cute and they're super on point for the occasion, okay? Okay, so my next client came in for a freestyle. She told me it was her birthday. So I was like, hmm, what can we do? What can we do besides crystals? Because she didn't book for crystals. So I wanted to do something that was really cute, but that was still, you know, like flat on the nail. So because when it, when it comes to birthday, I'm always thinking like crystals. But okay, I had to get outside the box. So anyway, I went in with a base of gel paint directly on the nail tips, cured that. And now I'm using four different colors to create a marble look across the nail. Then I cure that. Now I'm applying some glitter directly on top of the sticky layer. And then I apply top coat over all of that just to seal everything in. And then I'm going to cure that. So once that's cured, I'm going to add my Mega Bond Primer from Sting Nail Co. And go ahead and add in my pink so I can do the ombre. The pink color that I'm using is Prettiest Pink from Valentino. And I'm just using that on the nail bed to kind of cover up the nail bed and then also to ombre into the marble design we did on the tips. So as you can see, I'm just going ahead and covering that up. The only thing I wish this color was a little bit less translucent because it's kind of hard to cover up that harsh line because this color is a little bit see-through. But other than that, I felt like it was the perfect color for her skin tone. 
So I just kind of work with it, kind of add a little bit more product over the edge where the white polish started and everything was okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate the tip of the nail and encapsulate the ombre and I'm building up the structure of the nail with this as well. This is the crystal clear acrylic powder from Sting Nail Co. I love this crystal clear. This is what I use for the base of most of my nails, especially when I'm doing something like clear or glass nails. So I encapsulated everything. I went ahead and shaped, filed, and buffed her nails, had her wash her hands, and now I'm just cleansing the nails with alcohol. I applied some transfer foil on her nails, and now I'm applying the stickers directly on top of the transfer foil. And I did cure the transfer foil um, before I put the stickers on. So now it's like a sticky substance, and it's going to be super sticky so the stickers aren't sticking up. Apply your top coat. And then here we go. This is the finished product. This came out super cute, super fun. I really like how that marble ombre looks under the acrylic instead of putting it on top of the nail so the nail isn't bulky and it's not like affecting the shape of the nail. So yeah, get into it. These came out really, really cute. And happy birthday, girl. Okay, so I just finished with my second client. I'm about to go on my lunch break. Um, I have some orders that I need to take to the post office. And I'm about to go to Chick-fil-A. I, I brought some food to eat, but um, I'm going to do Chick-fil-A. So we're going to do that. Okay, so my next client came in for a fill-in. This is about after three and a half weeks. So I'm using my Extra Course Carbide Drill Bit. This is from Sting Nail Co. As you can see, it takes off that polish with one swipe. This is my favorite drill bit for polish and product removal. So I'm just removing the color from all her nails. Once I get that color removed, I'm going to go ahead and start with my nail prep. So I'm starting off by pushing her cuticles back so I can get all that skin pushed up off the nail plate and all the dead skin is turning white. So now I can see what it is that I'm actually removing. I'm going to use my micro taper cuticle bit from Sting Nail Co. And I'm going at a speed of about 8,000 RPMs in forward motion. And I'm just going all the way around to remove the dead skin from her nail plate. This is one of my favorite nail bits for removing product off the skin. This works on every finger, every nail shape, every cuticle type. So I pretty much use this same one on every single client. I did prep her nails with a medium grit sanding band, um, but I forgot to record that. And I did thin some of the acrylic out because I'm going to be doing a look that requires a nude acrylic. And I didn't want to do that with gel polish. So I just thinned the acrylic out so I could apply overlay right on top. So here you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to apply the overlay right on top of the white all the way down to the tip. And now it's like that's the new acrylic color. There's no more white showing through or anything. So when I'm doing the acrylic design, which is like some French tips and different things like that, then I can go ahead and it won't look bulky with a bunch of coats of gel polish, if you know what I mean. The acrylic color that I'm using is Bad and Bougie by Valentino. So after I got all the application done, of course, I went ahead and reshaped, filed, sealed the cuticles, buffed, everything like that, had her wash her hands. And so these are the two colors I'm using. This is from Colorland Gel by Tracy Nails, number 7 and number 128. And this is the picture that she showed me. So I'm just going in and duplicating that picture to the best of my ability. And as you can see, we're going to do a full color on the pinky, French tip on the ring finger. And this is where I was saying, like, this looks a lot better with the acrylic base instead of me going in with, like, a new gel polish and then doing the French on top. So my online course for acrylic nails is going to be launching on July 15th, which is this Friday. So make sure you check that out. I will have the link in my description box. I'm going to be going over everything you need to know from prep, sanitation, shaping, acrylic full set, acrylic fill-in, removal, how to seal the cuticles. I'm talking about everything, okay? So if you've ever been interested in learning how to do acrylic nails, but you don't have the money for an actual one-on-one -on -one in-person class, or you don't have the time, or if you're interested in nail school, but you're not for sure if you want to make that investment, or if you went to nail school and they really didn't teach you everything you feel like you need to know, this is a technique class. You're going to learn actual techniques that you need to be a successful nail tech. So make sure if you check out that link in my description, okay? So now I'm just adding some crystals with my super sticky jewelry gel. I love this product because it comes right in the tube. I don't have to like scoop it out or anything like that. Just dip it on a nail, put the crystals on and go. And y'all already know what I'm about to say. Here's the finished product. I feel like these nails came out super cute, very clean, and very classy. Get into the blue cow print, okay? So this is my last client of the day. And this was her first time with me as well. She was super sweet, very nice. I enjoyed speaking with her, meeting her. 
She told me that this was her first time with the black nail tech, so I'm glad I was able to give her that experience and make it a positive one for her. So the color I'm using is Nude Panther by Not Polish, and I'm just applying that to all her nails. As you can see, we're doing like a medium almond shape. And I'm doing like a one to two bead method on most of her nails. I'm not that person who's going to be counting acrylic beads. I'm just trying to get the nail structure and get the nail filled with product, okay? But this isn't the method that I teach in my classes or my online class. I'm actually teaching like the steps to do it right. Now, once you get the steps down, you start to build your own technique and that's fine. There's no set way to do things, but there is a set way to do things as a beginner to make things easier for you. But yeah, I've been doing nails for about 10 years now, so I'm pretty sure I can get the job done with one to two beads. So I finished the application, foul shape and buff, and went in with a design. She said she wanted some swirl designs with some colorful swirls, so we did that. And then here's the finished product. These came out super cute, super classy, and y'all know I love a good pink nail. So yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. Get into it, get into the cuticles, get into that shape, just beautiful. Okay, y'all, so I just finished my last client. I'm about to head out of here and go home for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on the next one.